Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at the VersaWorks interface, really exploring some of the panels, features, and tools used to set up, create, and rip jobs. So starting off, uh, we'll go through our panels here. On the left-hand side, uh, we have our printer models. If you have one model, it will stack here, likely at the top. And if you have additional printers connected to the software, you'll see, the, see them stagger, uh, similar to tabs like an internet browser. Moving along, we have the print status. So once a job is sent to the printer, we can monitor the job and job name here. Below that, we have the RIP status. So this is really where the software calculates the instructions for a given job. Typically, this is a pretty quick process that will just zip by here. Moving down, we have a number of different queues that we can set up jobs accordingly. Typically, I like to use QA for anything adhesive anything with an adhesive backing for stickers, signage, and that sort of thing. And then QB being anything non-adhesive. Banners, QB for banners, photographic prints, canvas. Just one way I like to organize my job. VersaWorks 6 also has a number of other cues that you can use. So those are all available for use at your discretion. Within each queue, we will have a list of jobs set up here. So right now I have these two jobs loaded in. Pretty standard. We'll get to these more later on. Uh, at the bottom, we have a number of tools which we can go through now. Uh, so once our job is loaded in, we have a button to select the job settings. We can configure layout, scale, orientation, and all sorts of other factors involved with our job there. We can then rip the job. Uh, this is where, again, it will calculate the instructions for the printer to receive the job. This is a quick process uh, that will uh, result in the, the job being ready to print. Moving along, we have the print button. This will automatically rip the job, then print it as soon as it's finished. So that's a quick one just to get the machine going. Uh, below that, we have a nest button. So the nest function, if we shift select multiple job items, we can nest, and they will essentially be treated as one job. So this is also referred to as a grouping, pairing, and other softwares. A great feature for economizing the use of media and so on. Uh, to undo that feature, we can just select nest again, and it will return back to the default state. All right, moving along, we have an option to save our jobs. So suppose we set this up, have all the uh, settings configured, and we want to print this at a later time. We can use this button to save the job out and then re-import it at a later date. The one to the right of that, we have an option to uh, stop the job. So if this were in print production and we caught something that we need to uh, stop the machine for, we can do that here. To the right of that, we have a clear option. Uh, so the clear will delete any configured job settings that we may have set up after it was imported. And then at the end here, we have a delete icon. Pretty self-explanatory, that will clear that selected item or multiple selections from the queue. Note, if you forget what any of these features do, you can hover over them and they will have a brief description. Uh, so as an added bonus, you can also access these features by right-clicking any given item or selecting it from the Job tab up at the top. Continuing on with our interface here, I have one item selected here, and we will have this section in the center with uh, file attributes, document inf information, and so on. So this is a good uh, quick check at where our job's at. Uh, one thing I check here, if we have uh, cut line or anything that will show up in special items. Uh, if we're using the LEF series products, you may see a white or gloss special item if the file contains that data. Other than that, we just have information on our page size, materials, uh, estimated ink consumption, and so on. So it's just a quick look at the job setting here. And to the right, we have our job list. So this can best be described as just a visual version of our job list. Our job queue here. 
Uh, so this can be useful if we have multiple items in our queue and we're not sure which image corresponds to it. We can select the item in the queue and it will then be highlighted over here. Uh, just a way, another way of navigating files within the VersaWorks interface. Lastly, I will cruise through our top menu options and really just highlight the ones most useful for uh, new and intermediate users. Under the file menu, we can add files to specific queues or we can close the program. Under edit, we can set queue options for any of our given queues. Uh, there's some higher level options for configuring spot colors, special colors, and color matching. Uh, preferences is another useful one, which we'll get into at a later point. Next up, we have the View tab. Uh, this is a section where we can add different features. Uh, sorry, add or, add or remove different windows to our program. So I'll just, uh, for instance, disable the Layout tab, and you'll see our interface has shrunk there. Or add it back in, and we're kind of where we started. There's also a job list here. Let me pull this up. We will have a job list uh, with our given items coming up. Uh, this is a brand new install, so I don't have any items listed, but that's where you can find that option there. Next up, our printer tab. This is where we can add a new printer, remove a printer. Uh, we can check the status or ink levels here perform a test print or test cut. Uh, these are typically done on the hardware side, but note that you can send those from your VersaWorks interface as well. And send native file. Uh, it can be used for uh, firmware updates and so on. Following the printer tab, we have the media tab. This is where we can find media explorers to load profiles or import various color charts uh, for various color applications and accuracy checks. Uh, within the interface. Lastly, we have the VersaWorks Help tab. This is a really useful one uh, in getting to know the software and uh, gaining uh, more information about different features. First up, we have the Show Help tab. This pulls up a web-based web -based, uh, tab where we can search different features. So for instance, I'll just type heater settings and this will pull up a number of different articles relating to that subject. We also have VersaWorks Online tab. This will pull up a similar interface where we can view uh, different manuals, documentation for that given model, things like setup guides, user manuals, and so on. Manual library is more of a general location for those sort of items, but note that that's in there as well. And we have the About VersaWorks tab, and this will pull up just information on our version, our machine uh, information, and general information just about this platform. All right, hope that helps you get started with the VersaWorks 6 interface, and look out for more to come.